What is up guys, it's Kamikaze here today, and today I wanted to talk about seven tips to improve your gameplay inside of this game. Hopefully this will be an under 10 minute video, I want to really get these out. I think that I bring a new perspective to this topic because I am actually a player that has gone through the ropes, not as a naturally gifted or someone that spends 10 hours on this game every single day. Of course, no offense to, you know, the pros or anything. But I have definitely worked hard for this in order to become a better player. And I am not the best out there, but these have definitely improved my gameplay so much to the level where I feel like I am comfortable inside of this game. Which, it definitely took me a while to get there, but I wanted to talk about some tips that I used to get there. If you guys like this type of content, hopefully that's quicker, you know, fast, to the point, then I hope you guys could like and subscribe. It helps me out so much because I am greedy and I want subscribers. That's in all honesty. Now let's get right into it guys with these tips. Now as you guys know, there are a lot of players inside of this game that do not use claw. And that's perfectly fine, you know, that's perfectly fine. But I think that what kind of turns people away from claw is the fact that it is so hard to learn at first. Okay, you know, I remember trying to learn it and after just a match of playing, my hands were hurting and everything and you know, it really felt insanely uncomfortable. And that's understandable. Whenever you're learning something new, you know, it's always going to be hard. For example, I play the piano, okay? And it, it really learning how to play the piano at the start, it hurt your hands, even when you're playing, you know, twinkle, twinkle, little star, okay? Now I can play for at least with like no problem. And that's the thing, you know, there's a pretty fast learning curve, I'd say. And you know, if you can get past that and you can just play, with Claw, I'll tell you what, it's going to improve your gameplay. And if you're ever going to play any other, you know, game outside of Call of Duty Mobile, I'm telling you what, Claw is an important thing to use. You know, any FPS shooter nowadays has, you know, a HUD customization setting that allows you to use Claw and it gives you a massive advantage over your opponents. Now, number two, we have isolate your aim. Now, Claw is basically useless unless you are able to get an actual accuracy advantage out of it. If you're using Claw and it's really just making your accuracy like worse, then there's no point in really using it because it's just gonna make you suck more. So I recommend isolating your aim. Now, there are two buttons inside of this game, both recently added that allow you to really isolate and hone in on that one finger that's going to allow you to aim. Now, I personally use five fingers, so I have basically a finger for every single purpose, including aiming. I have a button, I have a finger solely for moving my screen around. And so, if you're using a five finger, you know, HUD or layout, and I have a video on that where I show my HUD and what I use, I'm telling you right now, you need to isolate your aim, okay? That right fire button, you don't want to be pressing down on that and then boom, your, your whole screen will just wiggle out of control. It really gets annoying and it feels so glitchy and uncomfortable and uncontrollable and that's because you need to turn that off. Because if you allow that you know, fire button to move around, oh, it's really gonna mess you up and you will notice a difference in your gameplay really fast. I really had trouble kind of learning how to isolate my aim once I turn this setting on, but I'll tell you what, it really does improve yourself if you can really focus on it. Also, if you guys are new to this channel, please, if you could, like and subscribe. It helps me out so much. I love y'all. Have a great day. Number three, you know, you really want to use builds that work to your strengths. Now, I know that there are meta builds out there and they're very important. However, inside of this game, there is somewhat of a balance that is pretty decent. So if you look at a build and, you know, you're looking at that and you're thinking, hey, you know, that's a really low control build, okay, I'm not good at that, I really, I really have trouble with that, you know, then I would definitely focus on builds that work to your strengths. And definitely, you know, always work on using builds outside of your comfort zone in a public match. But when you're going into a ranked match, what you really want to do, or if you're getting really serious about this game, you really want to play to your strengths, okay? So I recommend, I use builds that I feel like have some sort of range, kind of like a medium range, because sometimes, sometimes they're just builds that don't work. And you have to understand that. There's really no point in pressuring yourself to use a build. Super high recoil and everything. If you really can't understand how to control it. For example, I can't use the Fennec. I've tried using it, and I know it's a noob weapon. I can never get that thing. I can never be able to control that thing. Now at number four, we have make strategic decisions. Now a lot of players think, hey, you know what? You know, I can just go around and I can just put strategy 
on the back burner. I really don't have to care about it. I really don't have to think about it. And I think that that is definitely a very bad mindset. And again, when I'm playing casually, I really don't focus too much on strategy. But if I'm really trying to get kills or something, then you really want to think about, you know, where are my enemies and where can I catch them at the worst spot? You always want to be hitting someone where while their back is you know against you while they cannot see you so that you always get that head start you can hopefully kill them before they turn around if they turn around they kill you well that's your own fault because you probably had bad aim or something but you really want to catch them at that worst moment and kill them okay so i know that a lot of people focus on they're like okay you know trying to figure out you know my aim's got to be perfect you know just run into the objective or whatever but you really want to think about hey you know what, what is the best way to come at the situation? Because you really want to set yourself apart from players that maybe might not be thinking strategically. Now, at number five, we have a very simple thing that really has improved my gameplay, I'd say significantly, and that is clean your screen. Okay, so say, you know, you're eating your whatever, your, your fried chicken, okay, and then you go over and you're playing on your phone. Well, that grease is really gonna get on your phone. It's gonna make that friction a lot less. So your fingers are going to be slipping and sliding. And this might not be as big of an issue for like PC players, console players. But when you're on a phone, like a tempered glass screen, it really does mess you up, I think. And if you get something that kind of gets like caked on there, oh, you know, if you go over like a rough spot of your phone, oh, it's, it's really bad. It's really bad. And I feel like that definitely makes your aim a lot weirder, a lot wonkier, because you're trying, your fingers are always going to try to find this constant. So you can use these things called thumb sleeves. I personally don't use them, but evidently they help kind of make that aim better and more consistent. But I just recommend, you know, get, get a paper towel or something, get a napkin. Now, number six, this is one that I don't even follow myself, but I do know that for anyone trying to get better, this is a very important thing. Personally, for me, I'm very casual nowadays. I used to play ranked a lot. I used to really try to get kills, and, you know, I got Damascus at one point. That's the reason why you see me flexing it in every single one of my videos. But really and truly, if you want to be good, you have to stay consistent. It's fine if you only play one match per day, two matches per day. It's not a big deal, in all honesty. But I would really recommend, you know, having people that really if you really want to progress if you really want to progress and i'm not saying that this is something that everyone has to do because if you don't really want to progress then that's fine i mean this is a mobile game but if you really want to get good at this game become you know pro like okay if you want to keep on getting better at this game you have to be consistent you really do you know just playing one or two matches per day even you know even if you're not playing for a really long amount of time just keeping it, you really want to keep that muscle memory, okay? You know, when I come back, when I, and again, you know, it's kind of like playing the piano, okay? When I, when I don't play the piano for a week, you know, sometimes I will go a week without even playing the piano just because it's not really, you know, my focus at the time being, you know, I'm working on schoolwork or stuff. If I have a hard class or something, I'm, I'm working on that. You know, if I'm not playing it and I really feel like I just come back and I'm just, not used to it, you know? And that's the same thing with Call of Duty Mobile. Taking a break, and I've seen it before, I've gotten into this role where I've played almost every single day for a week, and then I'll stop, and then once I kind of start back up, that momentum's kind of all gone. Now, number seven, I have Try Ranked. Guys, I know, I know. Ranked for me was always very intimidating when I was starting out, and I felt like, you know, even playing Claw, I just wasn't good enough. I felt like, you know, no matter what, I wasn't really going to do good, so I would always go to public matches. And today, I still play public matches. I I got to Legendary in Season 5, and honestly, after that, Ranked just really got boring for me, so I went back to public matches. Again, I am, for the most part, a casual player, so, you know, if you really want to get better and you want to improve, and this is what I did when I was trying to really get up there and get good at this game, try Ranked. Please, try Ranked. You know, when I went into it in Season 5, that was definitely a new experience. It's a lot harder. It's a lot more enraging. But I'll tell you what, you're going to learn a lot. Even if you don't win all the time, even if you rage all the time, you know, you're going to learn a lot. So I recommend Ranked. Now, as a bonus, I do want to say observe pros, like their movement and gameplay. Kind of look at what they're doing. I'm telling you what, looking at these pros and stuff and looking at their gameplay really kind of dissecting it is going to help you find some new tactics and strategies. I can't give you everything in this video. I just want to give you some basic stuff on how to become 
a good player. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all. Have a great day. Bye.